Right now though, I just feel relieved and exhilarated with freedom, and I can't wait to get cracking on the exciting opportunities that lie ahead. For years, Discovery have been encouraging everyone to make your world bigger, and that is exactly what I'm now doing. Rules that Guinness put down actually for us, and then also, of course, you have to better serve ice cream before and after the event, and that was really the nub of the problem. When it comes to automotive reality shows, there is definitely no shortage. As with most shows, we tend to grow fond of cast members and feel a certain sadness when there is any change. And after time is invested in a series, we often feel entitled to an explanation. Fan favorite Wheeler Dealers captured the audience with the fantastic pairing of Ed China and Mike Brewer. When China parted ways with Brewer in 2017, fans were shocked and disappointed. The show must go on, but if you are like everyone else, you are curious to know what really happened between Ed China and Mike Brewer. Why change a good thing? If your internet search has landed you here for the answer, you are in the right place to receive answers. And if this is your first time at Tuna No Crust, welcome, and we are glad you're here. Wheeler Dealers is a British TV series that made its debut in 2003, with each episode featuring Mike Brewer, a former car dealer, purchasing older and repairable enthusiast vehicles. Brewer then put the car into the care of an expert mechanic to perform moderate restorations on a budget, with the end goal of making a profit with a sale. Ed China filled the slot of the master mechanic from 2003 to 2017. Sadly, in 2017, fans learned that China would not be returning. Yes, I'm afraid it's true, and I'm really sorry. After 13 years of making Wheeler Dealers, I'm now going to be leaving the show. If you don't realize what a big deal his departure was, let us fill you in. Ed China shared as much of a part in the series as Mike Brewer. China was the mechanical genius, bringing all of his technical, hard-earned knowledge to each episode that made the restorations almost look easy. A highlight of the series was Ed China's workshop sequences. These segments were notorious for China's detail and accuracy and for providing content that was genuinely enjoyable to watch. China's interest in automobiles and passion started early. Holding a degree in engineering product design from London's South Bank University, China established Comfy Banana Limited in 1999. This allowed China a means to showcase his tremendous creativity. Ed China is known for thinking out of the box, connecting things that would not usually be combined, and conceiving unique ideas he then brings to life. One of these creations is a sofa that can be driven on the street. You heard that correctly. China constructed a mobile sofa that set a world record in 1998 for being the fastest furniture. I set the world record for fastest furniture about 20 years ago, about 1998. And it was, uh, it was, that's kind of what set the whole thing in motion then. Because once you've got one record, a Guinness World Record isn't enough. You need to have lots and lots. And that's where we started building crazy cars and getting crazy records. Reaching a speed of 87 miles per hour. If you were wondering if it is street legal, the answer is yes. How nice would it be to never have to get up from the couch to go to work, the grocery store, whatever? He didn't just stop with fast furniture. He also holds the Guinness World Record title for the fastest shed, toilet, bed, milk float, etc. His zany creations launched Ed China on a course of becoming a media personality, regularly appearing in print and broadcast media, eventually becoming a popular guest on a variety of TV shows. In 2003, China began working on the series Wheeler Dealers, hosting alongside Mike Brewer. Over the 13 years that followed, China restored 135 classic cars. Mike Brewer, on the other hand, was born in Lambeth, London, and grew up around his car-loving father who let him learn to work on his Ford Popular, where his passion for car repair and modification began. At the age of 33, Mike landed a role as a host for the show Deals on Wheels until 2001, and then continued to appear on other car TV shows to add to his portfolio. Wheeler Dealers eventually offered Brewer the role as their host, and we all know what happened from there. So, what happened? As with every public separation, the rumor mill actively generates endless reasons for it happening, leaving you to wonder what to believe. The official explanation for China's departure is that he left the show to pursue other interests. This left viewers needing more of an answer. 
Some sources say that Ed China was fired or he was cheated. But Mike Brewer noted that none of what was put out there online is true. Mike Brewer and Ed China were best friends, China being the godfather to his child. But things seemed to change for China during what would be his final year in the series. Brewer said that China became more difficult and angrier with how the show was produced. He just become more uh, difficult. He become more uh, angry with the way that the show is being produced, and uh, he put himself into a position where it become untenable, really. And for Ed, what he wanted more or less was to just work less. Although Brewer shared some of the same frustrations as China, they manifested them differently. China's frustration became more and more evident as it was taken out on the crew and people in general. Wheeler Dealers is a fast-paced series that needs complete devotion by everyone involved, and that can leave little time for anything else. Filming consists of 17-hour days, six days a week. This rigorous schedule can drive anyone to say, enough is enough. That is precisely what Brewer says happened to his friend and co-host. Ed China released an online video confirming some of Brewer's thoughts. Making Wheeler Dealers is no easy task, and every episode requires a massive effort from a dedicated team of people. We started all those years ago on a niche channel in the UK with just a small production. China stated that Wheeler Dealers is a great car show. Making Wheeler Dealers, though, is no easy task and requires a massive effort. He says that Wheeler Dealers has been a real roller coaster of demanding challenges and triumphant moments. But is that the real reason for the split? You may have read that China decided to leave Wheeler Dealers because new producers wanted to dumb it down. Let's see the accuracy of that claim. Yes, Wheeler Dealers was purchased by the Velocity Channel at the end of Season 12. According to China, the first time Velocity attempted to produce the show, they found Wheeler Dealers too difficult to make, at least in its current format. Remember earlier when we referred to the detailed, highly entertaining restoration sequences of Ed China? Those segments featured in-depth coverage of China's repairs highlighting every modification and provides a listing of spare parts and costs. And as stated by China, these parts are what he considered to be the backbone of the program. It seems that Velocity thought otherwise. Production of China's workshop jobs was one of the most complex parts of the show to make. Reducing these show parts would save production time, effort, and bottom line, money. China expressed that he didn't feel comfortable with this new direction, partly because he felt that the corners he was asked to cut would diminish and compromise the quality of his work and damage his reputation. In China's official statement, he said, so I have come to the conclusion that my only option is to let Velocity get on with it without me. Challenges and triumphant moments. It's been a real privilege to meet and work with so many great people and from the workshop to the joy rides to be allowed to experience so many fabulous cars and amazing locations. Mike Brewer acknowledged Ed China's explanation in a way that leaves people wondering if he was mad at China. Fans were upset with Brewer for not sharing China's view about his parts being an integral part of the series. When Brewer commented that China just had enough one day, he alluded that Ed China thought he was bigger than the show and the show would die without him. Regardless of who said what or when there is great respect and admiration for Mike Brewer and Ed China, they have both clearly stated that they remain friends. Being completely transparent in 2017, China said that Brewer wasn't his favorite person in the moment. However, he followed it up that he was sure he was not Brewer's favorite person either. China even publicly criticized fans for harassing Brewer and his family by saying, not cool. People eventually calmed down and looked at the silver lining. Mike Brewer and Ed China going forward in different car shows give you that much more awesome car content to watch. There is always room for one more car show. Was this what you thought went on between Mike Brewer and Ed China? What was your reaction to the split? Do you think the show still has room for more episodes or should it be canceled? Let us know in the comments below. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell notification button so that you never miss an update. We'll see you next time. Ta-da!